The National League Player of the Week presented by Chevrolet comes from the Cincinnati Reds. His name is Tyler. Tyler, you know what? I'm going to stop there, Tyler, because I have questions. I have questions, and it's all because of your teammate, Joey Votto. First, take a listen. I were to ask Tyler uh, uh, Nakin. I said that right, Nakin. Are you sure it's Nakin? I think it's Nakin. I think it's Nakin. If you ask him, it's French, right, if I'm not mistaken. You can laugh all you want, but I think it's Nakin. Okay. This is like from Anchor Man. I speak French, it's Nakin. Okay. Nakin? Okay. <laughs> Nakin? That, yeah, that's that's true. Um, I told Joey about that. It's really, uh, it's funny because I I work out at uh, Fairchild Sports Performance in Houston. When I got there, the head trainer, he said, you're not a Nakin, you're a Nakin. I said, how'd you know that? Well, he's French. He's from, he's from that area. So, right. man, if I if I told the announcers Nakan, they they, it's too late for that now. But it is Nakan. It's French for sure. Nakan. Yeah, dude. You, so wait, hold That's on, Kev. Before stuff. you ask your question, do you not yep. want us rolling with that? You want us to keep going with Naquin? Dude, that's up to you guys, man. Y'all, y'all roll however y'all want. All right. <laughs> I'm going to knock it. Because I just know I can pronounce that one better. But I want to get back to a Joey <laughs> there Votto. You go. Because Votto is one of my favorite, most intriguing players out there. Sneaky, sneaky, funny, really smart. Talk to us now, though. He wants to get into some fishing, okay? And this is a guy that wants to learn. When he wants to learn stuff, you got to teach him. So let me know, because you're a big hunter and fisherman. Let me know how the steps are going to go. Uh, well, first, Joe, uh, well... <laughs> Man, there's a lot of steps here with Joe. He uh, <laughs> he comes into the clubhouse, and I I got my locker right next to his, and he comes in just with a little spin cast reel and whatnot. He goes, Nate, he goes, dude, just just show me how to set this up. So we set it up. Wade Miley walked over. We helped him set him up, but he keeps saying that he's going fishing, sending pictures, videos. I have yet to see a fish, but, I mean, he's grinding it out, though. He's grinding it out. He says that people, other people are catching fish. They're using live bait. I said, Joe. You can catch anything with live bait anywhere. You need some live bait to get your feet wet first, buddy. You gotta, but I'm, I'm going to help him out. <laughs> we, so good. We, you need to report back on how that experience goes. But I was asking yes. Tyler before we started, like, what do you want on the whiteboard? He's like, I don't know, man. I like to hunt. I like to fish, and I play baseball, and that's about it. And then there we go. Now, you, you mentioned Joey Votto, and everybody always asks for their favorite Joey Votto story. But if you talk to anybody in that Reds clubhouse, they will pick Wade Miley as the sneaky funniest guy there in Cincinnati. So I will instead ask you for your favorite Wade Miley story, the one that you will share with your little ones down the line. Oh, man. About Wade Miley? Yeah. <sighs> I, well, first, touching on Joey, though, because I have to. Just This is my first season over here, and, man, I'm, I'm excited to be here. And Joey, he seems like a pretty serious guy, but in the clubhouse, he's... I mean, he's a he's a fun, very sneaky, funny with the whole knock-in thing and all that. But Wade, he uh, he never stops talking, man. I mean, literally never stops talking. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a specific story, but I'm sitting on the bus, we're going to the airport, and Wade's like running his fingers through his hair and doing all this stuff. I'm like, dude, you all right? He's like, man, I, I got some problems. Blah blah blah. My, my baler back home burn up, burn up the clutch on the truck, and he just kept on going. He's my kind of people, so. <laughs> I felt for him. Well, two days later now, he's still talking about it. I said, well, you still talking about that? He said, dude, you don't understand. It's a big deal. So it's every day with him. There's not a specific one. That's it's great. every day. Oh, that's so good. He's a good dude, bro. I do want to say now, this is first year over here, and sometimes media comes to your locker, and you have a great game, and we're going to answer some questions. So I got some video here. We're going to go with Nikki Castellanos. Is it way tougher when your teammates are right there in your vision when you're trying to answer the questions as if Nikki was here? It, it is, especially, you know, because at that point, I didn't know Cassidy real, real well. I've played with him um, Detroit and Cleveland against each other quite a few times, but mm. he's sneaky funny too, man. He's just a weird cat sometimes, but uh, him sitting there like that was a little strange. A little bit strange. I even <laughs> called him out after that. I said, what were you doing, buddy? He's like, it's just how I felt in the moment, man. All right, sounds good. That's Casty. <laughs> sounds good. Just keep, just keep driving yeah. runs in. I want to get to duck. Exactly. Duck hunting. Okay, you're a big duck hunter. Duck hunting's never been my gig because it's early, cold. So talk to me about where and are the best spots, basically. Oh man. Well, Texas seems to be a hot spot. You know, all the rivers and whatnot. But man, me and my brother and a couple of my buddies, we grind it out on the rivers and. There's just so much public land, but 
There's a lot of people that love to duck hunt, so it's hard to it, it's hard to shoot ducks if they're not coming down. Now up north, um, obviously where it's colder and whatnot is a lot better, but man, can't give away my secret spots. A lot of people know where the Trinity River is, and uh, that's about all I'll go on that. <laughs> yep, yep. yep. Hey, so Tyler, now that we got you on the headset, I do want to flash back to when you once wore a microphone. Let's first listen in, and then I'll ask you a question. But, but you'll you'll even see sometimes their outfielders lose it, that, and they're there every and they're there 90 times out of the year, 80 times, whatever. 80, they half, the blah, blah, they the blah, but 90, 80, my math is struggle sometimes, you know that. Nathan, what do you want your major to be? Oh, wildlife. You do understand that takes, uh, <laughs> calculus. Uh, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> so Kev can feel your pain with the math, but has you, have your skills improved since your time in Cleveland? <sighs> Man, it, it's just, here's my thing. I'm going to do stuff that I like to do. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. math is something I don't like to do. <laughs> so, no, they have not improved. Now, counting other things or how many ducks we got or, you That's know, knowing right. your bag limit, I'm, I'm spot on. Know thyself. So good. Yeah. Know thyself and do what you want to do. I do want to take you back to your rookie year. One of the coolest images. I'm hoping that you have a monster blowed up poster somewhere in the deer stand duck blind home but do you have this image because back before we even talked to you i'm like bro that's the coolest image ever like a rock star yeah. oh my gosh uh, <laughs> whenever i got home actually from the season my dad had a uh, like a, a neon sign made i don't know where he got it and it was me throwing up that sign in his living room i was like dude i mean that's sick but where did you even get that made at but uh I, is speaking of the rock star thing, that's why I did it. I always thought it would be cool to be a lead guitarist. I don't want to be the lead singer. I want to be the lead guitarist and just rock yeah. the house down. And that was my chance to end the, you know, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame city and everything being right there. I thought <laughs> that was a perfect place to do it. That's it. So that's good, awesome. dude. So good. All right, brother, we got a few rapid fire questions and we'll let you go off to be a rock star and hit some over. You ready? Gotcha. One, Jonathan India told us he loves orchids. What's your favorite flower? Oh, I'm sorry. What, how do I say that, Stephen? No, you did it. Orchids. Is that, you, was it orchids? Yeah, you I nailed it. I wasn't sure about that word. Were you going to say What's your favorite orchids? flower? Yes. Uh, my favorite flower? <laughs> I'd probably just say a, uh, let's just do a rose, a nice rose. See? That's, 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 that fits that's for a, that's IT. A perfect answer. Texas yeah. rose. Especially Texas on rose, Valentine's the yellow day. rose. When getting dressed, what do you first put on? Your socks or pants? Ooh, socks. Yeah. Yeah. Good man. Yeah, no doubt. Some guys go pants first. That's it's a weird. little strange to me. But, yeah. Yeah, but, but, but that, that, that's part of it. Last one. We've learned about the Reds Riders. Are you a part of that crew? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, they say that Joey is uh, the original writer, and I could say on a disclosure on that, when I showed up to camp at the Reds, he was on a scooter before anybody else. But when it became a thing, Winker started it, Farmer hopped on it, and uh, I was then voted in. So I'm definitely in that group. Wow. Yes. That's, that's a prestigious honor. I would uh, look, The National League Play of the Week presented by Chevrolet is one thing, but being an official writer of the Cincinnati Reds is another. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Hey, Tyler, <laughs> he hunts, he fishes, and he plays baseball, and he had a hell of a week doing that last thing. Tyler, thanks so much for spending some time with us afterwards. Best of luck. Stay healthy, okay? 